Hey everybody, uh, we're about to get historical, because we're going to go back to 1998. This is when I moved here to this, um, this place, and I was working as a hooker, I was doing a call at the Hilton, and um, so my client um, answers the door, I knew from on the phone, I knew that he was from Texas. Um, that's all I really knew about him. And he answers the door um, with one of those like multi-gallon white cowboy hats um, and nothing else. And I, I, I don't know about you, but I grew up with the Dukes of Hazard. I know you grew up with that. And I, I mean, I think it's fair to say that a lot of us eroticize one or more members of that cast be it Daisy Duke or Bo or Luke Duke. Um, for me, they were a little too pretty. I was always into Cooter. <laughs> Cooter was my jam. This man was Boss Hog. Right. Now, I love, I love big chubby guys. I, I love it when a client is like 400 pounds and he's really sweet and he'll lay on top of me and just make, like squeeze the breath out of me. I love all that. But the, one of the things about him that made him boss hog was like his total arrogance and um, ostentatious qualities. And so this was 98, so I had to hear like three, he, it was supposed to be a one hour call and it ended up being stretched out to a three hour call. And when that happens, there's always this tension, like, how are you going to get paid? You're going to have to negotiate this at the end. It's a tension. And so, not only was that going on, but I'm having to hear about all of his wrathful, hateful rants against Bill Clinton and his, like, Hillary Clinton conspiracies. And, I mean, it was out there. It was, like, on the level of alien conspiracy theorists, the people with black plastic on their windows, but it was all about the Clintons. And um, so, anyway, we finished the call. I got underpaid, but I did get paid for extra time. But, you know, somebody that wealthy should have been more generous. Anyway, I miss my I missed my preferred mode of muni transportation, which I think is the only dignified way to do. Uh, yeah, it's the underground. That's the only dignified way to ride muni. And if you're riding above ground, really you're just open to all manner of humanity and just criminality and indecency really and so I missed that and so I, I was left with um, a double bus on mission route the 14 exactly and so I step into my carriage and um, I don't I get I don't get a lot I don't get OCD about a lot of things but I do like halfway back when that thing starts wobbling. I don't like that. And I made it through. I went to the back of the bus. That's where the most interesting people are. Um, that's where I sit in solidarity with the interesting people. And so this night, there was nobody on the bus except me. And so I sit down at the back of the bus and um, it, we start up and th I hear this like rustling. And I look down on the floor and there's this little like pile of fabric squirming on the floor. I'm like, what is going on? And um, I, I just, I'm watching and then I read, it's a woman. Okay, so it's a woman, I know this, it's a little woman. And she's just like, she's just like, you know, just rubbing up against everything and um, all up, you know, all up over the windows and the, uh, and it's, it's like ecstasy, when you're on ecstasy, if you really let yourself go, like... <sighs> you know? And she's not touching me, I mean, she has some manners, but she's like reaching out towards me as if she's like touching the air. I'm fascinated. I'm just like, yes, um, I'm just gonna sit here and 
behold this magic. <laughs> and so she's, she's doing this thing where she's like, sort of like writhing all over the seats, like, uh, you know, just getting that perineum. And, and after a minute, she reaches down and she pulls out a big, big load of shit. I'm sitting there like, all right, you moved here from you moved here from Virginia. You got rid of all your church clothes. What does this woman have to teach you? Hang in there. It's gonna be okay. She's like two feet away from me. And um, so I'm just like, all right, cool. So I sit there and I'm just, we're making eye contact the whole time. She's just, she's got those like mystical eyes. And she starts painting on one of the muni seats. You know? And at first it's really precise and it's really, it's really exacting. Like she's really taking care with each stroke of her medium. And then, at a certain point, she ran out of white space on the seat, and she just starts like, you know, just rubbing all over with abandon. And I was like, this is breathtaking. It's amazing. And so she's doing this. At that moment, we stopped at like 12th and Mission, and these dot com -er people, like five of them, climbed aboard, and they got about as far as halfway back, and they could smell the art that was going on. And they start freaking out. They start yelling, and like, oh my god, oh my god! And um, they get the, the bus driver stops the bus, and they're, they're screaming at the bus driver, and I mean, they were fresh from gentrifying whatever bar they were in, you know, ruining the culture of this town, you know. So then they get on the bus and they have to ruin that too. And so, um, I start yelling at them, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm like, San Francisco smells. San Francisco is a smelly city. San Francisco is full of art, and art smells. Culture smells. Deal with it. Deal with it. Fuck you. If you can't deal with it, go back to Cleveland. Fuck you. Fuck you. This place smells. And artists smell. We shit. Deal with it. You know, I was going crazy. You know that sort of tendon that gets snipped when, when, uh, when you go full to radical, that was what was happening with me. And um, so cops, by, I don't even realize this, but cops are climbing aboard. They have like yellow gloves on and they're coming towards the woman and I get between the woman and the cops and I'm like, like you can't, no, you can't take her. I'm not getting off the bus. You can't take, you can't take her. Just, you know, I'll clean it up. Just get off, you know. And I mean, I was making crazy, crazy promises, and um, but I just kept talking to the cops. I was like, you know what? Sometimes people have a hard night. Um, it's gonna be okay. These fucking dot com people are outside the bus, looking up, like taking cell phone pictures and shit. That's which just says it all. Like that's as close as they can be to real art when there's a glass barrier. You know, to me, this woman was like, uh, she was tribe. She was a performance art. I, I'm one of those people who, like, if you're a performance artist and you're doing monologues about three, three generations of women in your family, that's not fucking performance art. It's performance art when something comes in and out of an orifice. Um, <laughs> That's, that's old school, that's 90s, but that's what I believe. And um, so anyway, these people are outside, they're just like gawking, and, and I'm simultaneously ha trying to have a rational, persuasive mode forensics team conversation with the cops, and then shouting out the window, 
you know, like a street corner prophesier at these fucking people. The miracle of all this is that the cops allowed me to walk that woman down Mission Street and not get arrested. I don't know how. Um, and uh, we walked for a while in total silence. It was, she was like a holy person. And so we walked down the street and she disappeared up Clarion Alley, which is that alley with all the murals. And so to me, that alley always has mystical, <laughs> mystical proportion. And then I just, I didn't watch her walk all the way because I just felt like she needed some privacy. And um, I will say that a few days later, I went to Daly City and I went to a car auction and I, I spent $650 on a 1986 gold Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> Um, which I promptly painted stripes all over. And, um, you know, to me, it was less about the shit painting and more about the dot communists. Um, and also, I was getting a lot more calls in the East Bay. But, yeah, I just couldn't have had too many nights like that. Um, but I hope that you do have at least one night like that. Thanks.